click the link above to view part one and hit that Superman symbol to listen to ARC reactions. Hey y'all! All right, that. Holy crap! <laughs> okay, let's just talk a, a second about Flash. Did he remind you at all of what we got from the uh, Days of Future Past Quicksilver? A little bit, honestly. I don't know why they didn't just go with Grant Gustafson. Yeah, I think he's gonna be good, but all Ezra Miller is doing is just imitating Grant. Yes. accepted he's someone who they have done a great job of and you know he's obviously latched on into the public conscious yeah but why didn't they why didn't they just give it to him <laughs> i have no idea you know the only thing i can think of is two things one just wanted to keep them separate and why <laughs> here's why here's why because the flash tv show is so good and doing such a great job that to pull Gustin off to do the movie and take the time to do the movie means that would take away from him being on the show. True. And if they did that, and, you know, one, let's, let's, okay, scenario one is they pull him off of the show to do the movie and they just don't have a season of Flash or they have a truncated season of Flash. Mm -hmm. Then it's really not a great, you know, that's not a great move for the show that's already successful and already garnering uh, viewership. Or two, they put him on the movie and then jut him straight back onto the show with no break he's exhausted they don't get the performance that they want out of Gustin or scenario and three it fails it fails horribly oh it, yeah the movie fails it does a BVS and we get a complete shit show and then nobody and then, watches Flash <laughs> yeah it, it, it damages the, the reputation of Gustin and Flash even if it's not his fault which it wouldn't be because let's face it Gustin's amazing Yes, I love the Flash. My my wife and I, my wife, I told her about it. I was like on season two. She yeah. binged watched the Flash that night. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, I, I I really saw a lot of that very carefree, goofy fun that we got with Gustin, but also like I said that we got with the uh, the Fox X Men Quicksilver. I kind of wish they would have lightened his hair. Yeah. <laughs> Just, Something. just a little bit. <laughs> but you know, I think the Flash is going to be really good. I'm not sure on the Cyborg, which is really sad because I really like the Cyborg. Cyborg looks fake. You see when he was talking to Batman? He looks so CGI'd. It's was, so bad. It's like he was phoning it in. I was like, yeah. Ugh, I'm used to Teen Titans Cyborg. Booyah! <laughs> yeah, not, not Teen Titans Go, but Teen Titans. Exactly. Why do you think I said that? <laughs> I hate Go. <laughs> Go is so bad. It's such a departure. I know it's not designed for you know thirty-one-year-old comic book nerds like us, but it's still just it's an abomination to what they had, where they had actual characters and development and depth and design. Uh, uh, just ugh. I just wanted to hear. I wanted to hear him say "booyah." I really um, did, but I was just like, uh. No, that was X. Bitch. That was X three. Was that X three? Yeah. The that... only good part of X three, I'm the Juggernaut bitch. I was like, I grew up with that. <laughs> yes. Get out of my head, Charles. Get out of my head. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it was. You know, I, I'm hoping that they have that kind of that Easter egg in there. Mm -hmm. It'd be amazing. It'd be hilarious, and it'd be. Yes, it'd be pure unadulterated fan service. Mm -hmm. But it'd be amazing fan service. Just one booyah. <laughs> Just one booyah. Just, Just like he does something awesome with booyah. Yes. Just like I'm hoping for the Luke Cage show that we get a sweet Christmas. Uh, well he said that in freaking uh, Jessica Jones. Yes he did, but you know, to have it in his own show would be, which I love that they had that in Jessica Jones because, oh my god, yes, Luke Cage. But yeah, we'll, 
But we're not talking so, about that. <laughs> I know what happened. Oh my god, the, the temptation to go there. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy with what they did with Cyborg, or what the what little we've seen of Cyborg. I am happy Jason. about Jason Momoa as Aquaman. Yes, oh my god, Jason Momoa is awesome. That dude's a beast. <laughs> Uh huh. What do you do? Like he tackled her and screamed, "Wifey!" It's <laughs> a gigantic hug. Yeah, I mean, he just seems like he, he's like Dwayne Johnson level awesome. Dude, he doesn't say nothing, but you just see him and you go, "Yes, that is the presence of a king." Yes, and I'm excited about him bringing supplies to this uh this you know wharf town, this uh fishing town. I, I was really hoping they played up the King Angelito, King of Atlantis. Atlantis is real, and I am the ruler of this, of you know, three quarters of this planet. But you but think? I'm not sure that gonna get that. I think I kind of like it because I remember because I'm thinking of what Peter Cullen said when he was first doing Optimus Prime. He talked to his older brother and he said, "He goes, how should I play this character?" He go, and his brother told him, "He goes, be strong enough to be gentle." And that's how he got the voice of Optimus. So that's what I'm thinking they're going to play with Aquaman. He knows he's a king. He knows he's the shit. <laughs> he knows it. <laughs> but depending on this telling, of course, Aquaman has been Atlantis first and very much the ruler of his people and loves his people and protect. he's kind of a protectionist. Also think, if they're going with the new 52 angle, he wasn't always in Atlantis. He was first adopted on the la on land he was first lived a man and maybe that's a that little wharf town is where he grew up or something and the, and he goes okay they're suffering i can't have this this is my home turf i gotta help him out so so being the man of two, two worlds. exactly and that's what aquaman is yes. but eventually he went straight straight to atlantis and he said okay i'm done with this world i got a kingdom to run I know. It. Oh, I hope they do that right. the tattoos! Yes. I did think I was—I did think I was gonna like him, but I was like, yes. Well, I mean, you know, Momoa is Samoan. So I know. Having a—I'm just happy they have a Samoan actor in such a high-profile role and getting some actual diversity. That isn't The Rock. <laughs> it's, yeah. I mean, it, and yes, The Rock is phenomenal. Once again, if if they hadn't gone with Momoa, the Rock, uh, Dwayne Johnson would be a pretty high up their pick. But granted, he's going to be doing Shazam as Black Adam. This is true, yeah, so we can't have The Rock doing that. But still, although, you know, having Dwayne Johnson as Aquaman and Jason Momoa as Shazam could also work, or as Black Adam could also work. True. I mean, but, th those two are phenomenal actors in their own rights individually, so. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, but, uh, but now let's move on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, now let's talk about. Batman and Wonder Woman. They're trying to recruit all these people. They're playing off each other perfectly. It kind of reminds me of the Justice League from Bruce Timm. How Wonder Woman was so, sort of getting sweet on Batman. And who wouldn't? He's Batman. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I always thought that really didn't make a lot of sense. Because he is a mortal man. And she is a depending on the origin, a goddess or a demigod or, you know, from this. Or a uh, clay figure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but power, you know, uh, brought to life by gods or what have you, but she's a very, uh, you know, powerful character and to fall in love with someone who's brilliant, but God, is he damaged and troubled and, and mm -hmm. broody and moody and just no fun to be around. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. Yeah, but I... I much more I'm much more invested in like a Superman, Wonder Woman love interest. Yeah, I mean that's what I view them as: Wonder Woman and Superman getting together. But I can live with this. Ben Affleck is doing a phenomenal job as Bruce Wayne and Batman. I I don't fault Ben Affleck for what happened in Batman versus Superman. I fault uh, Zack Snyder and, and 
piss poor writing. Yeah, piss poor writing, piss poor directing, you know, uh, corporate interventionalism on property, mm. that sort of thing. So I don't know. We have a uh, very. It's, it's, it, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see where they go with this. I want to hype, but it's a very cautious want to hype because what we've gotten in the past from DC. So, who do you think's the villain going to be? Do you think it's going to be Ares? Ooh, see, and that's what I'm hoping for is we get Ares as a villain. Um, or, you know, Ares as the, basically the Thanos of Wonder Woman. He's the one manipulating the strings. Oh, wait, no, no, scratch that. I remember the article. It's Steppenwolf that's supposed to be oh, the yeah, villain. That's right, you're right, yeah. So, that's interesting, yeah. I'm, I'm, we'll see what, uh, I'm not going to look up Steppenwolf because I'm not super, he's one of the ones I'm not super familiar with. I just know he's a general of Dark Side. Yeah, so that could, you know, that's a great play into. Into. Uh, uh, we, we're going to get with Justice League. Yeah, and then we and we also got a hint of Dark Side, anyways, from the atrocity that is BVS. But. <laughs> oh, that was a mess. That was like a dream sequence within a dream sequence, and. Uh, hell yeah. I was happy about Parademons. Yeah. But but then. Yeah, they could. The way you could have fixed BVS is all those videos that he saw could have just been something at the end, just an end credit yeah. scene. It would have wrapped it up nicely. Something. Yeah, amongst the other things that they did that was absolutely horrible in BVS, it they, the pacing was bad, the inability to you know put together a co one coherent story instead of five or six <laughs> stories. Yeah, so with Wonder Woman. I want to hype, I want to be excited, but With. there's so much going on and so much failure from DC's movie division that I am very, very I got a I'm at a three. <laughs> that's, that's a generous three, and, and that makes me extremely sad because I want a Wonder Woman movie. I want a female-led movie. I oh no, that one I'm, I'm happy movie. with. I'm talking about Justice League, I'm at a three. <laughs> We also noticed that there was no Superman at all. Yeah. So I'm thinking that he, I'm thinking he's going to be like an end credit scene, or if this, or if this is a two-parter, he'll probably be like in the the climax of two. He returns. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is. <sighs> Don't get me wrong. I like. I, I love. Huh. Well, yeah. Or with the lineup, so I don't know. Is he someone who's going to appear halfway through? Is he someone who's going to be a post credit, which would make the most sense? Or was he going to? Or is he going to be a climax? And like, if they have a part two, I mean, I don't, that would be ideal. I mean, I love Henry Cavill as Superman. I I believe him. I say he has the built of Superman. He has the look. Granted, he's Australian, but. But come on, I, st I still I still miss Chris Reeve. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me too. That's uh, you know what? We'll take what we can get. He you works. Know, it works. I don't he's, I'm He's a good actor, he has the look. You just need someone who can direct him. I think that's the biggest problem is having someone who can direct him. Yeah. And yeah. someone who, you know, isn't Zack Snyder and trying to make trying to take the Superman out of Superman, trying to take the voice scout away from Big Blue. 
you know what? I would I would take a chance and let Bruce Tim direct. Just Ooh, to see, just to see what happens. <laughs> Bruce that would be really interesting. Or at least have Bruce Tim as some sort of like advisor or guide on the you know, on the film. Because we ain't gonna get Chris Nolan. We all know that. He's I'm done. Okay with that. Yeah. I am quite okay with that. Dark right. Dark Knight Rises was not his fault. Heath Ledger died. <laughs> I'm not saying that part, but there are parts that are like, what the, what the hell are we, why, why? Alright.